Ah, tis the season for planting. This is what I've got going on. What are we? June 7th or 8th, 2023. They uh, had grapes on sale. Now, I'm no grapeologist, but these are a seedless uh, Lake Mont brand. I've got three of them. Let's get you some wide angle. Well, that's horrible. There we go. I've got two of the Concords, which are a grape, full flavor grape. I think they make wine and grape juice out of that. And then these were like horribly puny. They're Nicaragua. And I'm assuming they're seeded. The Lake Monts are supposed to be seedless. You know, the wife does a great job of keeping the inside of the house clean. And I have a tendency to clutter the outside. So I've been trying this year to straighten everything up. Uh, my peach trees. I've got two peach trees here. that This one's been moved like four times. I couldn't figure out where I want them. And it did good. And then last year or the year before, the top blew out of it. This one is about a year behind that. I think the two pear trees came last year or the year before. And I was actually going to cut them down this year because they didn't do anything last year. But they came back with a vengeance. So I've decided to leave them. They were all starting to go a little crooked on me. So I went through and got everything staked. I think you had to leave them staked for a year. I'm not for sure. But my goal is to turn this whole side of the driveway into an orchard. You know, I got two pear and two peach trees right now, 60 foot of grapes. And my goal is to do two fruit trees until I run out of room. I think we're gonna do apples next. And I might do three of them. Cause it gets wider as you come down here. This part's wider than this part up here. So I could theoretically go four wide down there. But yeah, it's kind of a dead space of the yard that we don't do anything with i think it'd be a good little orchard maybe eventually even fence it in i don't know you can see the piles where i trimmed all these trees up and got all the bases it's funny this one right here i forgot what kind of pear tree this was but it had another sprout at the bottom look like something else that's why half of it's dead half of it's not and the other part was a bradford pear which I think are like an invasive, nasty, worthless pear tree. And I'm assuming they use those and then they graft whatever this pear is onto it. But you can see how conkadoodled this tree is where it was leaning over. I'm hoping this year it'll straighten itself back up. Got a couple little pears. They won't amount to anything. Ah, uh, the late frost took the last of the peaches. Or, yeah, so I never got any of those. And those trees need some major trimming. But I'll wait till winter to do that. Maybe late summer, do a couple branches. But I don't want to overly stress them. And I trimmed quite a bit off of them already. I've got all this crap that needs to get picked up. got no room for the meat birds so I decided to put them in the shop forty nine of them in there they're maybe a month old I guess another six weeks they'll be ready to process I had them in a little broider that my I think I talked about it that my brother-in-law built and they just ridiculously outgrew it The garden. I didn't do one last year really because mom died and I was hurting the years like four years before that due to the knee injury. This is the first year I really felt like getting out here. So I got three watermelons. I've got one row of squash which is going to need to be cut out. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything here. This is Lufa. Very dark plant. Got a whole row of uh, Roma tomatoes. These several rows right here, the back two-thirds is corn. The front two-thirds is either, I think, sunflower seeds or a flower mix. I think these are all sunflowers here that are popping up. I don't remember planting beans here, but these look just like these two rows of beans. And if you noticed, I went wide on it. I got tired of not having any room. And I've still got that much garden down there that I haven't used. This is all wildflowers. A um, couple lemon tomatoes. They're just yellow and cucumbers. Uh, I think this is another row of flowers right here. And then maybe some zucchini down there. I don't quite remember. But I extended the garden probably a little bit past that sprinkler head that way. And this has been the original garden. And I brought in some like 30,000 pounds of manure or whatever it was. It was several dump trailers. I don't remember because the dirt was bad back here. And it, uh, I can pretty much grow anything. This end does really, really well on melons. Like I say, I was a week or so or three or a month late on getting the garden out. I don't know why the marigolds died. Maybe they'll come back. But I was real behind on the uh, getting the garden out. So it's going to be kind of late. But I'm still excited. I've decided to keep the old tiller. I think I've got some videos on this early, early on with the Tecumseh engine that had some blow by. And I think it was on this. And my grandmother bought this in like 83, 84 for dad. And I've had it probably 15 years. And the motor finally gave out like 10 years ago. And I put a used cheap one on it. And then last year it went out, that one went out on me. And I went and got a Predator from Harbor Freight. Been really happy with that. Thing starts well. been a good tiller for sure made lots of food i worry about the watermelons taking over the three plants so what i'll figure is i will butt them up probably to right about here halfway between that and the squash and then let them come over and take over any of this area they want to i'm not too worried about that you know something else i need to do is bring in some dirt and do some leveling this driveway where i had the uh, motorhome parked I've actually scraped up most of the gravel here, but I want to keep a bed because it's real nice, especially if I got a trailer or something I want to park up here to keep it out of the mud. But theoretically, I can throw down some fescue or something like that, and it'll it'll grow on it. I don't care if it's grassy, but I just want it to look better. Like I say, I've got a bunch of holes and divots in here. I don't know. Right there's one. It's hard to tell on the camera. There's another one. This has started to sink in. You know, I want to fill those in and kind of get this yard leveled out a little bit. And get some grass seed. Which, by the way, is astronomically expensive these days. Uh, something else I need to figure out what to do with is this well. It becomes an eyesore with the weeds and stuff that grows around it. Uh, maybe three or four years ago, I went through and opened it and it feels like it's been filled up it doesn't the water's it's only like 20 feet deep to the top of the water but it doesn't feel like you can go much deeper than that so i don't know if i want to just collapse this top and fill it in i mean it's a pain in the butt maybe drop like a six inch pipe down there in case i ever want to pump water out of it i have the option i don't know do i want to build a little well house over it I don't know how long this has been here, but I think in the late 70s, Dad made the concrete tops for them. There's several of these wells on the farm, but I mean, it is definitely cracking up. And it's gotten worse this year than last year. 
you know, safety is a concern on it. The well's almost that wide across. It's hand dug. I've got a guy coming to get the van, get that out of here. And I really hope I can sell the Ford, get it out of here. This building received super duper damage last storm. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna tear it down or try to fix it. But I need to figure out something with that fairly soon. Get some stuff moved to get all these weeds up against the house cleaned up. Like I said, bring in some dirt and grass and get this reseeded and done. You know, the front yard grass is really good. The backyard is yeah, kind of rough, which makes sense because that's where they put the septic tank and, you know, piled all the dirt when they brought the house in. Go down here and get one more view of the orchard. I like calling it the orchard. Nice. Anyways, you guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time. Hello, cows.